Welcome to Recap It. Today, I will recap a 2009 mystery film titled Exam. I hope you enjoy it. Eight candidates for a highly rewarding job at a mysterious company are put together in a room without windows gathered. In the room, there are two rows of desks for the candidates to take their test in. They had already passed previous requirements, although not mentioned in the movie. As they walk into the test room, they each choose a seat. A piece of paper is placed on each desk that identifies them as Candidate 1, Candidate 2, etc. After they all settled down, the invigilator proceeds into the test room to tell them the rules for the test. He says, the test would be for them to answer just one question and there is only one answer to this question. He also states that no laws other than what the company permits will be followed. The candidates are not allowed to communicate with the invigilator himself nor the guard. They also cannot spoil the paper, and they cannot leave the room for any reason. If any of the rules are broken, they will be disqualified. To wrap up his orientation, the invigilator then asks the candidates if they have any questions. He sets the clock at 80 minutes and leaves the room. Alone, the candidates turn their papers to realize there was nothing written on it. With this occurrence, they were all confused and looked at each other, and one of the candidates starts to write I believe I deserve. The CCTV camera then spots her and the guard sprang into action and took her out of the room because she had written on a paper which technically means she spoiled it. After this, a young white man starts to analyze all of the situation and what had happened thus far. He tried to talk everyone into working together to find what the question is. His claim is that for a job this highly rewarding the answers wouldn't be easy to come by and it takes cooperation and teamwork to succeed. To ease the tense there, he suggests identifying each and every one of them but not with their original names. He uses their physical appearance to identify them but in a derogatory manner. He addressed them as black, white, brown, blonde, brunette, dark, deaf. White starts to brainstorm what other things the invigilator hadn't forbidden them to do. To put his assumptions to test, he stands up and sees that the guard only takes action when rules are broken. This proved that things that weren't spoken by the invigilator are all allowed as the time was running, they all tried to find the answer by coming up with suggestions. Firstly, they tried to see if there was a hidden message in the papers that could reveal through light. This doesn't work. Then they broke the lights that surrounded the room which made the emergency lights come on. This revealed an infrared light. They still couldn't see the question. They discover that no one will be disqualified if a candidate spoils any other candidate's paper. Dart tries to tell them all that they're probably missing something obvious. White shunned her immediately another method they tried to do was to lick in the paper to see if a liquid-like substance could reveal the question. White urinates on his, but finds nothing. White gets frustrated and starts to pick on Death, who appeared to speak only French. Death displays symptoms of a mental or nervous disorder. All this while, with everything happening in the background. Death is so focused on the paper that he says in French that they only have to look at the papers to find the question. He tries to reorder some small pieces of broken glass on top of the paper. They discover that Brown is a professional gambler, and due to his nature, he suggests it's a game that the board of directors are hidden on the other side of the wall betting on who'll win. Dark is a psychoanalyst who claims to study human behavior, seems to be the only one who has some information about the company, the products it sells, its expansion, etc. This raises suspicions, as none of the other candidates could find any info on the company despite doing some research. Dark explains to them that the company's worst job is more rewarding than the best job position in the world. It's a company that expanded during a pandemic outbreak. This expansion was as a result of the suppressants for the infection they had discovered. It is noted that the CEO of the company is considered one of the most influential people in the world. Due to his egoistic nature represented in the movie, White then takes charge of the group as a de facto leader. Brunette discovers they can touch the guard as long as they don't talk to him. She finds a lighter in one of his pockets. She wants to use this to set off the fire alarms as it may produce something other than water, possibly a chemical that could develop the paper into a photograph that shows the question. She climbs the table but still cannot reach the sprinkler. White offers her a paper to extend the fire, and after succeeding, she discovers that White gave her her own paper, so she is disqualified and escorted out of the room. Black walks towards White angrily, saying, I should punch your lights out the room. Suddenly goes dark, Brown says, lights up and the light goes on. They discover its voice activated. White bullies Deaf into tearing his paper and eating it. After following his instructions, Deaf crawls away. The guard throws Deaf out, in the scuffle Deaf droppled his glasses inside the room. 
White deceived them by saying the group could collaborate until they guessed, but after tricking Brunette into being disqualified, each one began to mistrust the others. As the tension builds to greater levels, Black punches White knocking him out and ends up tied to a chair by Black and Brown. White starts convulse and is unable to find his medication, which is required every hour on the hour. Black then says there is only one ailment that needs its sort of schedule. This made them understand that White is infected. Dark suggests that White is probably a spy for the company. To counterclaim it, Brown turned it around by saying Dark knows an awful lot about the company and should be the spy amongst them. This made everyone start to suspect Dark's the spy within the company and is working for them, and they want to get the question out from her with torture. When Brown is going to torture her by cutting her with a piece of paper, they discover that she is an employee at the company. Brown determined to get more answers from Dark went on with the torture. This time, reaching her thighs. He discovers she has self-hurt before. Brown then made a thin slice on her thighs. Next would be her eye. Worried about her life as it was turning extreme, she yells that she doesn't know anything, and Brown trusts her. She is then released. White's condition is getting worse, and his pill couldn't be found. While everyone else is trying to decide the best way to help, Dark discovers that Brown stole White's pill and stuck it under his desk with a piece of chewing gum. Brown still disagrees about giving White the drug and slaps it out of her hand. It falls down a water drain. Dark turns toward the blank screen and pleads for White's life and is thereby disqualified because she tried communicating with the invigilator. Blonde devised a means to take the pill out with her hair clip and forces the medicine into White's mouth, and he gets well almost immediately. They free him. He points out that the clock is running low, and there are four left White believes only one can win. His desperation showed he was going to do something dangerous. He and Black begin arguing and race to get the guard's gun. After pummeling White to the wall, Black takes the gun and, after being provoked, allegedly shoots White, but they discover the gun didn't actually fire. They start to fight. White stabs Black with a pencil and gains possession of the gun, and tries to shoot again, but the gun doesn't shoot once again. White figures out that the guard may be the only one able to shoot the gun, as it was a fingerprint reader, so he puts the gun into the guard's hand. White threatens everybody that they must voluntarily leave the room or be killed. This way he becomes the last one standing. Brown leaves first. On Blonde's way out, she signaled to Black and leaves shouting, Lights out to allow Black to win. In the dark, White kills Black. Blonde has not entirely left the room as one of her feet remains partially in the room. White sees this and wants to shoot her, then suddenly the clock starts blaring, signaling that the time has run out. In denial, White shouts to the other side of the wall that he's won. Guard puts his hand on White's shoulder and shows him, there is still time left. He loses because death has adjusted the clock so that the 80 minute time slot has not yet expired. He tries to commit suicide as being the last man standing was his most assuring answer and didn't have any more options. He fails because, as recalled, the gun will only work in the guard's hands. The glass wall is turned on, and Wyatt can see the sale of one of the invigilator. He looks devastated and realizes that it has all been futile. The guard disqualifies him by leading him out. Blonde fully enters the room again and picks up her paper. She starts to put one and two together and fumbles with the pieces of glass and Def's glasses and reads question one, written on the paper's watermark in tiny print. With the flashback to when the invigilator gave an orientation before the test, she offers it to Def, who returns to the room with the invigilator, and she says no, answering the question put forth, are there any questions? She is offered the job on the spot. The invigilator explains to her that Def is the CEO of the company. He is a troubled but genius scientist who has discovered a pill to heal wounds incredibly fast. Blonde says that she may not accept the job considering what had earlier happened. When the invigilator tried to understand why she went through all that trouble if she didn't want the position, she points to Black Line on the floor and says it's unacceptable. The invigilator asks, who told you that he's dead? She approaches Black and sees that the bullet wound is almost healed. The invigilator says that they put the fast healing pill inside the bullet. They own the formula for the medicine, which also healed Black's illness, but it can only be manufactured in minimal quantities. The invigilator further tries to persuade her on taking the job, highlighting why she is a good fit. As she exhibited such character that is needed as the new director which is the need to have sympathy alongside ambition, intelligence, drive, and hard work. Blonde accepts the job right away. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. Thanks.